Hey, Cam and AJ, this is a question for your podcast. Um, I'm a vet rider, and I also have some kids that ride as well. And I was just looking for some advice on how to make my time at the track most efficient, uh, balancing my ride time along with the kids. And I also have a couple acres of land that I can work with at home. So those are some drills that I could do at the house um, to benefit me when I do make it to the track. Because I can't make it to the track every weekend. Um, So is there something I could be doing at home? And then when I get to the track, I'm using the best resources of my time when I'm able to go out and do a couple motos. And then obviously with the kids, uh, their ride time as well. Thanks, guys. Oh, that's easy. So just do the four sets, which is stand up only, sitting down with feet on the pegs, one hand, and then normal, where normal is just simply you could stand and sit where you would normally want to stand and sit. You could put your foot out for a turn if there is a specific turn where you want to practice that. I would recommend going feet on the pegs the whole time. Uh, And then just rotating through those four sets. So you don't need that big of a track. Two acres is way too much. Uh, You probably only need about like a quarter of an acre and just cut in a six to 10 second turn track. The best type of turn track I find is a bean shape. So uh, you would have like a left, create a longer straightaway. So that way you can kind of get up to a little bit of speed, right? Maybe second gear on the throttle pretty hard. Then you're going to go left right left and it's just a bean and you can hit that bean both directions you do three minute sets super short sets it's going to feel like a long time and those four standing up uh feet on the pegs one hand and normal and just rotate through different directions you could ride for an hour a day and have the most productive riding of all time yep boom what about uh balance drill like with the throttle you know what i mean Yeah, that's actually a great one too. So if you wanna set up a start line and a finish line, uh, you can do the slow race with the bike started, which is not only gonna work like being able to modulate and work the front and rear brake, it's gonna help with balance and just bike control and then also clutch control. I do this mostly on a downhill with the bike off, but you could do it on the flat ground with the bike on and you're just gonna be in first gear, barely going. You could set up your start and finish line maybe as far away as you want. You could do it 25, 30 feet, you could do it 50 feet, just see how long it takes and time yourself to get from the start to the finish where like I've gotten good enough at it now where I can basically start and then just get myself to a balance point and just sit there balancing for minutes. Um, and that creates good bike skill and then it creates really good clutch clutch control too, because you have to just really finesse that clutch to go nice and slow. What else? Yeah. I, I would say between say- corner track and that, yeah, especially so as much a pro- productivity as a vet rider, that's probably where you want to be. But the other things that you always preach, AJ, is just doing bike skill stuff. Like if you want to get really like technical, slow wheelies, mm-hmm. stoppies, all yeah. of those you can do in a backyard. And guess what? You'd probably have a blast for an hour, you know, even though you're not out of track. Like I yeah, and jumping is the easy part anyways. Uh, so it's like, yeah, create all that bike skill on the ground. It's low risk. If you're doing wheelies that you're, and you loop out, your slow wheelie shouldn't be more than five miles an hour anyways. So I, that's what I would do. Yeah. And it's fun. When you get good at it, when you get good at a turn track, there's nothing more fun than a turn track. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Really there's good. your advice. Boom. If you guys are enjoying these podcast clips and you want to watch full episodes, you can subscribe at club.themotoacademy.com.